Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This here is Porty's Garage. As you can see, we are not in Porty's Garage, but we are back in the Tacoma, 2023 Tacoma. So today we're not doing a similar video of maintenance that uh, Mr. Porty likes to do. We're gonna be talking about the effectiveness of different antennas on ham radios. So you've seen the, uh, the ICOM uh, 4100 50 watt radio that I had installed here. Uh, I'll have Mr. Porty put a image of that install right around here somewhere. So a lot of people may not want to spend $300, $400 on a radio, 50 watt radio that uh, can get out 20, uh, 30 miles. I consistently hit repeaters 26 miles out. I've even hit uh, from here to the top of the Rensen 36 miles out and was able to talk to somebody. That uh, antenna is up at 800 feet. I'm about uh, 1,000 feet and there's a low land in between. So that is a pretty good direct line of sight. So what if you don't want to spend that, but you want to grab something like this little Baofeng UV5R. This thing is notorious. I just picked this up on uh, Amazon. We'll put the link uh, in the description below. Got a little pack here, came with two different antennas. We're gonna test them out today. Uh, came with two batteries, the radio itself, charger, some programming cables, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, also microphones, and so you can go headsets into uh, hearing protection. So this is only five watts, um, and it was a neat little package. It actually works. I've, I've uh, used it, and uh, Mr. Porty and I, we tested a couple things out. So before I get started on uh, some of these, I'll let you know this does work. Basically for GMRS, you can get a, a 50 watt radio with uh, GMRS. You can get these type of five watt handhelds. They're all programmed in with the proper channels, proper wattage to limit you to what you need. That you only need to buy a license. You don't have to take a test. So a lot of people like doing this kind of thing with GMRS. So before I get started, uh, Mr. Porty and I were testing these out. And going just handheld to handheld, not with this antenna, but uh, it also comes with this knockoff Nagoya, uh, what is that, a 771? We had those on and just uh, handheld to handheld, uh, about 1.43 miles. So then uh, we also tested sitting there listening, uh, had the handheld on the front porch. I was driving back with the, uh, the 50 watt ICOM and there we got 14.46 miles uh, from the truck to the handheld did not try to go back. I, I'm sure it would not, uh, this would not go back 14 miles. It is only five Watts. Probably could get further for reception on that. If I had better line of sight, better, uh, direction, you know, either I was higher, less, uh, uh, less things in the way. So, but what's very interesting is I keyed this up at Porty's garage and I was able to hit a repeater that was 19 miles away. I don't understand why. Uh, it's gotta be line of sight. Maybe that repeater's connected to other ones, but the signal I'm sending out went directly to the repeater 19 miles away. And I could actually hear back and forth from where I'm sitting now through that repeater and uh, all the way to, to Porty's garage. And as the crow flies, that's 26 miles. So this baby, we were able to get 26 miles on, unbelievable. So today I'm going to be checking, this is the standard antenna that comes with it. I'm gonna be testing a couple repeaters I listed down, they're programmed in here. Use the Chirp software. If anybody wants a, uh, a tutorial on using the Chirp software, it was a little finicky uh, using this, but not too bad once we got the, the right equipment. So I got programmed a bunch of channels on here uh, for repeaters that are different distances away and see if I can get the repeaters to call back, maybe even get a hold of somebody. So we're gonna be using this antenna, uh, this knockoff 771. And then what the last thing I wanna to do to try to improve distance, just got a little adapter here. I'm going to put the mag mount on the top of the car and see if that improves anything. So uh, let me hit pause here, get things set up, and then let's test this out, see if we can get, uh, get any signals on here. All right, here we go, let's turn this on. Let me try to do this so we can see what's going on here. Channel mode. So that's on channel mode right now. Hit this, it goes between frequency mode. Frequency mode. Channel mode. Channel mode. Now I'm going to change, use these arrows, change to channel zero. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. 
So now that top line there is showing what frequency I'm on and this repeater should be 4.2 miles away. Let's see if we can hit it. KE8, UWI, doing for a radio check. And I do have this on high power, so it does not seem like we hit that repeater. KE8, UWI, looking for a radio check. So that time I did hit it. So that's kind of impressive. So now let's, uh, I'm gonna go up one channel. So this should be a repeater that, uh, so that was high power, five watts with this little uh, antenna. I got 4.2 miles out. Not sure if I was, could, someone could understand me, no one came back. Two. So now I'm on channel two. This is a repeater that is 7.6 miles away. KE8 UWI, testing different antennas on a handheld. Looking for a radio check. Maybe. I think that's just a lot of static. So that's definitely not hitting. I'm going to try one more. Could be uh, some line of sight. Three. This one is 8.5 miles. KE8 UWI, doing uh, testing on different antennas. Looking for a radio check. nothing definitely nothing all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that nagoya on and start at that top one again and see if that makes any difference so let's go back to channel Two, zero one zero ke8 uwi testing different antennas on a bow fang looking for a radio check That did beep back, so uh, I did hit it, but no one's coming in. Let's hit this uh, 7. Point, 7 point six miles away. KE8, UWI, checking different antennas on a bow fang, looking for a uh, radio check. Well, that's odd. I don't think I hit that one. KE8, UWI. Looking for a radio check. No, nothing came back. Let's try that one last channel. Then I'm gonna stop and I'll set up the uh, mag mount on there. Two. KE8 UWI testing different antennas on a bow fang. Looking for a radio check. <laughs> it almost seems that that one did come back. It almost seems that this little handheld or this little one did better on some of those. So let me set up that mag mount. I'll show you how that is. And then we'll uh, get back to testing from inside the car here. Give me one second. All right. As you can see here, I've got that adapter on. Connected it just to a coax that goes to a mag mount up on the roof. So I've got the radio on set to channel zero again, which is the repeater that is 4.2 miles away. Let's see what we get here. KE8 UWI testing different antennas on a handheld bow fang. Looking for a radar report. Definitely hit it. It came back. You heard that chirp. So that worked out great. Give that one second. See if anybody comes back. And then I will change to a different repeater 7.6 miles away. One. So I'm on channel one here. KE8 UWI testing different antennas on a handheld bow fang looking for a radio report. So that came in pretty actually clear there. See if anybody comes back, give that a second. All right, so now this is a repeater we have not hit yet at all. So now we are 8.5 miles away. KE8 UWI testing different antennas on a handheld bow fang looking for a radio report. So that came back. Give that a second. I'm going to go out to 12 miles, see if I can hit anybody at 12 miles. Three. 
So now we are at 12 miles out. KE8 UWI testing different antennas on a handheld looking for a radio report. Nothing. Nothing came back on that one. So it looks like we did have some improvement with the uh, antenna up on the roof. I was able to get 8.5 miles out. Uh, and all this does depend a lot on line of sight, different elevations, if there's any obstructions in the way. So uh, I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the SWR on this. Maybe I'll show you how to do that quick and uh, then uh, wrap it up. So uh, let me uh, hook up the SWR meter, see what we're getting out of the Baofeng here. Make sure it is actually uh, five watts like they say. And uh, let me give me a minute to set that up. All right, so now I put this uh, antenna back on. I've got that guy waiting to hear from me. Let's see if I can hit that same repeater 22 miles away with just this, uh, I'll call it a little rubber duck knockoff uh, 771. KE8UWI just set up that, uh, that uh, little bendy uh, rubber duck antenna on the Baofeng. Can you copy off the top of Troy? Nope did not hit oh actually it did hit look at that let's see if that guy comes back I don't think he can hear me I probably hit it open the repeater but can't get through so let me throw that other antenna back on tell the guy thanks and uh, you can see that that mag mount definitely did improve distance on there it all depends on where repeaters are um, you know, line of sight, elevations, that kind of thing. This one, I know I've got a clear line of sight, 22 miles. And that's why this worked. So uh, give me one second. Let me finish the conversation. I'll get back with everybody here. All right. So I've got this SWR meter on here powered up. I've got on a simplex channel, so I'm not on uh, a repeater right now. So I'm going to hit out and you can see I already did it once and I've got uh, an SWR one. So K-E-A-U-W-Y, just doing a power check. So, and this is saying it is six watts, which, uh, there, maybe you can focus on that better. That's amazing, a little six watts coming out of this Baofeng. Um, right now I'm at uh, 147, so that's two meters. Let me uh, change this down to uh, a 10 centimeter and, and uh, see what, what I get. Give me one second. All right, let's try this now. I should be at 442.55, K-E-A-U-W-I. So again, an SWR of one, and I can't see the 5.33 watts. So at the 70 centimeter, we got a, a little uh, less power going out. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. I thought it was going to be a bust there for a minute. I didn't think the antennas made that much of a difference. Then, uh, I said, tested around while off air, found that the top of Troy, so it was really line of sight. So when you get out further distances and trying to get over some of those hills, those antennas, changing antennas will make a big difference. So if you kind of like the content, hit subscribe, uh, to help, uh, Portia's garage out here. And we will talk to you guys later.